Hot stuff coming through! Not bad at all! Octagonia, home of muscular brutes beating the bejesus out of each other. I've always wanted to visit. Oh, great. They're fans of Hendrik, huh? I hate this place already. <laughs> hey there, handsome. Y'all here to take part in the tournament? You sure oughta. The masked martial arts meet is where all the biggest fighters make their names. <laughs> What's it say? Show the world what you've got in the greatest fighting contest anywhere in Erdria. Awesome prizes available. A tournament, eh? I thought she was going to invite you to a boring old dance or something. I wonder what the masks are for. What's that at the bottom? All bouts to be held in the rooftop arena. I suppose that must be on top of the big building over there.
merchant who bought it from the Sultan of Galopolis must have sold it to the tournament organizers. Does this mean we're going to have to enter the tournament? <laughs> nope, it means we're going to have to win it. Money. 
しぼしぬようにいつかもいちどいつかもいちどきっとあのまちにかえろうそしてもにどとそしてもにどとこのてからきみをはなさない」
ちを知るようにいつかも一度いつかも一度きっとあの街に帰ろうそしてもう二度とそしてもう二度とこの手から君を離さない」
season of the year, fighting season! Let's throw open the big book of brawling legends and get ready to write in some new names. The Masked Martial Arts Tournament starts here. Now before our fighters get down and dirty, it's time to find out who will be paired with who. Let's hope everyone gets the partner they deserve. I'm going to draw balls from this box right here and call out the numbers. Each pair of numbers forms a team. Fighters will be counting on you to make the most of whoever you're matched with. Remember, teamwork makes the dream work. All righty, let's get started. And the first number is... 11! Fighter number 11, step right up! <sighs> All right, now time to find out who'll be fighting beside you. Let's see. Who will it be? Eight! It's fighter number eight! Number eight! Make your way up to the stage. Charmed, I'm sure. Hold on a wee second there. Huh? I'm not putting this young lassie's fate in the hands of a ballyhoo like you and your box of balls. But, sir, uh, sir, it's, it's the rules. You're not telling me anything else, so you ain't gotta say it. Uh, I, I, uh, I mean, uh, 
Allow me to check that with the uh, official adjudicator. Aye. My mistake, fighters. Seems this gentleman here has a, uh, a special arrangement. Number 11 gets another pick of the partner pot. Oi, what's the big idea? Play fair, will ya? Come on now, folks. Be reasonable. The, uh, the official adjudicator has spoken. Now. Why don't we see who number 11 will be fighting beside? Oh, hey, hey. It's number seven! Fighter number seven, come on down! Looks like I'm up. <gasps> ah, Vince got picked already. Well, how about that? Number 11's new partner is last year's champion, Octagonia's favorite son, Vince Vanquish! Hey man, good to meet you. Let's break some heads. That's it, folks! Our teams have been decided! Now all that remains is to wait for the action to begin. Let's wish the best of luck to all our fighters! You've been paired with last year's champion. Lucky old you. Not that you even need a partner. I was just saying to Veronica, they should change the rules so you can compete on your own. Wasn't I, Veronica? Veronica? Where's she gone? She was here a moment ago. What's all that commotion outside? Oh. Oh, dear. Why don't you learn to look where you're going? Me look where I'm going? You're the one strolling around with your nose in the air, you snooty little midget. What? That's ridiculous. You walked right into me, you big lump. Didn't your mother ever teach you to say sorry? Cool. You really don't know where to shut up, do you? This is all I need after me bleeding, stinking luck and that bleeding, stinking drool. Don't take it out on the kid, under Digger. We all have our bad days. Who said that? Come here and I'll... <gasps> Ch champ. <gasps> I get it. You didn't get the draw you wanted. 
But you gotta roll with the punches, man. I mean, you're a tough guy. What does it matter who you partner with, right? Well, since you put it like that, champ... Uh, sorry, Squirt. <laughs> I'll, uh... Kev? Uh, Kev, is that you, mate? Kev? Veronica, are you all right? Hey there, partner. You know this little lady? I guess all's well that ends well, huh? Glad I could help out. All right, gotta bounce. I got kids to feed, then I'm hitting the sack. We ain't gonna win tomorrow if we don't rest up. You take it easy too, you hear? I'll come get you bright and early. Rise and shine, partner. Time to hit the arena. the arena. Huh. We meet again, Underdigger. Gotta stop bumping into each other like this. Oh, give me a break, will ya? Up against a champ in the first round. I must have the worst bleeding, stinking luck in the whole bleeding, stinking world. Right, you. Here's the plan. We wallop the kid first, then we move on to Vince, all right? That way, we might actually stand a chance of getting out of here alive. Sure thing. We're gonna win this easy, and then all the girls are gonna be swooning over me. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> All right, teams, I want a nice clean bout. On my word. Here it comes, folks. And fight! Eyes open! Ha <laughs> ha 
bad. That's it. It's all over. Vince has done it again. Nice job, partner. You're tougher than you look. Hmm. Huh. Sounds like the next fight started already. Would you look at the kid go? She's incredible! supposed to compete with that admit it Vince even you're impressed yeah she ain't bad all right folks here are the teams who'll be fighting it out for your pleasure in the final bouts Will Vince and his new sidekick prove invincible and take the title again? Or will Rab and Jade continue their incredible run and pip the champ at the post? It's all still to play for. Come back tomorrow when the action continues. You won't want to miss it! I lucked out getting you as my partner. We're in with the chance, you and me. Anyway, I better go. The kids will be waiting for me back at the orphanage. What was that? She wipes the floor with you. You should be ashamed of yourself going out in the first round. Look, I did the best I could, okay? But she's... she's not normal. <laughs> Are you sure you weren't just love-struck? You looked a bit weak at the knees to me. And what with her flashing her legs around like that? Well... <gasps> Veronica! It's them! Huh? Excuse me, lassie. Would you mind standing aside? Uh, oh, yes, of course. Sorry. Shall we? Hmm. I'd keep a close eye on your partner if I were you. Keep an eye on Vince? What does she mean by that? You don't 
don't think it could be anything to do with the missing people we heard about, do you? Didn't someone say that they were all competitors in the tournaments they have here? Could... could Vince be in danger? Missing people? That's the first I've heard of it. Doesn't sound good, though. Maybe you should go check on Vince. Don't want your partner disappearing before the big day. It's you. Man, I thought you were some creep sneaking up on me. Sorry, it's just... I keep hearing about fighters going missing. Kind of puts a guy on edge, you know? Didn't mean to scare you, partner. Seeing as you're here, why don't you come inside? Kids were good while I was gone, right? Uh huh. Is this a friend of yours, Uncle Vince? Yup, a very important one. So you play quietly while he's here, okay? Oh, be sure, be sure, catch me! I was born and raised in this orphanage, man. That's actually why I fight. Wanted to raise some money. Give a little something back, you know? Trouble is, fighting's all I'm good at. If I stop winning, these kids stop beating. Huh. <laughs> Won't be a problem this year, though. You and me, we're going all the way. Good to have you along for the ride, partner. Man, look at the time. Sorry, once I start gabbing, I kind of find it hard to stop. Wait, was there something you wanted to talk about? I mean, I'm guessing that's why you came to... Huh. Hey, did you hear that? It came from my room. There it is again. There's somebody up there. Some punks tossed my room. What kind of lowdown? 30 thief burglarizes an orphanage anyhow. And what were they looking for? Uh, <clears throat> Just you creeps, wait! Uh, listen. We got a fight to think about. It's late. You should stay here tonight. You down with that? <laughs> Come on, man. There ain't no need to be polite or nothing. 
All right, go get some shut eye. I'll wake you when it's time to hit the arena. Up and at him, partner. It's fighting time. That's the spirit. We got a fight to get to. Gentlemen, are you ready for some more masked martial arts action? Our first fight of the day features the favorites for the title. It's the Invincibles, starring none other than reigning champion, Vince Vanquish! They'll be facing off against hometown hotties, Cinderella and Wambolina, a.k.a. the BT Queens! <laughs> I'm Cinderella. And I'm Wambolina. Hello, boys. The girls have brought their fan club along. Well, get ready to cheer your hearts out, folks. Something tells me this is going to be about to remember. Fighters, get ready to go to war. Don't let the pretty, pretty act fool you. They made it this far. That means they can fight. On your marks, get set, fight! Let's get physical! Oh yeah! Fizzle. <laughs>
bad. <sighs> That's it! It's all over! The Invincibles have done it again! Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're into the semi-finals. And here come our first challengers. Give them a big hand now. It's... The Invincibles! They'll be taking on a pair of dashing dark horses who surprised us all with their flair for ferocity. It's Golden Boy and Sterling Silva, AKA the Bullion Boys. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Look out below! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so, we meet at last, foul villain. I had hoped you would survive long enough to suffer at my hands. <laughs> now, time to lie back and let the great Sylv... <laughs> I mean, the magnificent Sterling Silva show you which of us is the better once and for all. So you guys know each other? Ha! Know each other? None can know the true identity of Sterling Silva and live. Nor that of his faithful sidekick, Golden Boy. The Bullion Boy's real names will go with them to their graves. These guys sure know how to put on a show. No, these fiends. We will not be holding back. Our onslaught will be merciless and swift. Huh. Likewise. <laughs> Just my little pre-fight ritual. All right, let's do this. Looks like our fighters are ready to rumble, folks. All right, on my word. Fight! Come on. Nobody beats the Bullion Boys. I. <laughs> Hot stuff coming through!
not bad. <sighs> That's enough, I'm calling this one. The Bullion Boys have been beaten! <sighs> Curses! The great Silva, um, uh, Sterling Silva, defeated. But I feel no shame in losing to one such as you. It was a battle of epic and legendary proportions, and I thank you for it. Good luck in the final, darling. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. Gentlemen, it's time for the showdown you've all been waiting for. The grand final of the Masked Martial Arts Tournament! That's right, just two teams remain. Invincibles, if you please! They're hot favorites, folks, but will our hometown hero be able to retain his crown? Or will surprise newcomers Rab and Jade snatch glory from the reigning champ? Will the princess and the pudding please take to the stage? Yes, it's the girl who moves like lightning, and the old guy who doesn't move at all! Will they be making history here today? It's time to find out! Something about these two gives me the willies. But we got this. Time for a little good luck boost. Did you see that? I did. Oh, yeah! Let's do this. Let's win this thing. <clears throat> All right, laddie. Show us what you've got. This is it, folks. One last time now. Show us what you've got! Let's do this, shall we? Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go. Oh! 
What in the w It can't be. Can it? Caught you napping, old man! You too? What's with everybody all of a sudden? Not that I'm complaining. You're up, partner! We, we have a winner! Vince Vanquish has done it again! <laughs> oh, yeah! Mm. And what a final it was! Stick around for the award ceremony, folks! We did it, man! We won! It wasn't easy, though, huh? That was the toughest tournament yet. Thanks for seeing it through with me, partner. Hey, the grand prize is something called the Rainbow. Word is, it's worth a bunch of dough. How about we sell it and split the... It's me, Rab. I need a wee word with you. Can I come in? Just you in here, eh, laddie? I was hoping to speak to your pals, too. Could you ask them to join us? It's Jade, the lassie I was fighting with in the tournament. She's missing. I've looked all over town, but she's nowhere to be found. I can't help but worry she's got herself caught up in something. Will you help an old man look for his wee friend? Oh, don't be like that now, laddie. Come on, you'll help me find her, won't you? You're a star. With yourself and your pals here to help, I'm sure we'll find her in no time. Right. The last place anyone saw her was over by the orphanage. Let's start there, shall we?
Here we go!
Not bad at all. Guys! Darling.
that's how great Sylvanda grows even greater.
界。Victory! Nice! Brought you a fresh one! Further thanks. So this is who's behind it all. Sir Hendrik must have missed one when he cleared the monsters out of town all those years ago. <sighs> huh? Nicely done, lassie. I hope you'll forgive me, but we had a wee rummage around in your room, Vince. The liquid I found. That's what you drink before your fights, isn't it? What your friend here squeezes from the fighters you kidnap. That... that was you? <laughs> Perhaps not all humans are as stupid as our muscle-bound friend here. That's right, old man. Hendrix scarred me, but he did not kill me. The extract. It was the only way to regain my strength. So, and why would he help me do such a thing, you ask? Because I offered to share the fruits of my labor. To give him strength beyond imagining. 
Who could refuse such a... I couldn't keep on winning forever. And if I wasn't winning, I wasn't bringing in the money we needed for the orphanage. Sorry, partner, but I can't let those kids down. Which means I can't let you and your friends leave. Come on, not now! Oh, will you look at yourself, laddie? Do you not see what that stuff's doing to you? That foul fluid wasn't meant for human consumption. It's eating you from the inside out. It's a miracle you're still alive. Uh, uh, man. Uh, I guess cheaters never prosper, huh? <coughs> Spent at last, old friend. Such a shame. Then I suppose I'll have to deal with you myself. Keep that thing busy. I'll see if I can get those people down. Stay focused! Here!
Darlings! Told you I was tough. And don't come back. I... I had no choice. A third-rate fighter like me? I was never gonna make enough dough to keep the place open. So when I heard that voice... drifting up from down here... Right beneath the orphanage, I... I listened. All I had to do was help him out, and he'd make me the toughest fighter around. Seemed like a pretty sweet deal. So I said, sure. I wanted to win the tournament so bad, needed that money so bad, I'd let him use me. I knew it was wrong. But that orphanage, man... That's where I was raised. Those kids are my family. I had to do it. I had to. <laughs> so you let your desire to help the Bairns get the better of you. Well, there's certainly been greater evils done for less good. Tell you what. I'll have a word or two with the mayor. Don't worry, lad. We'll make sure the orphanage is looked after. So, chin up, eh? Just don't let me catch you making deals with nasty beasts again. You hear? <sighs> Sir, I... I don't know what to say. Wakey, wakey, little soldier. Come on now, time to get up. I said wake up! Morning, darling! Hate to drag you out of bed, but we need to head up to the arena. That prize they never got around to giving you? Well, they want to hand it over. Let's get moving, before they change their mind. <laughs> if you're looking for me, I'll be in the cheap seats. Don't forget to give me a wave. Don't
everybody it's time to bring this year's masked martial arts tournament to a close it's prize giving time ladies and gentlemen i give you our champions the invincibles now to present the prize hold on hold on seems kind of a shame to have the good folks of octagonia come out and support us and not give them a show to enjoy why don't we make this interesting I challenge you to a fight for the prize, partner. Winner takes all! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the gauntlet has been thrown down! Now that's the stuff champions are made of! No backing out now, unless you want to ride on your hands. <laughs> Fooled ya. I don't do that stuff no more. I fight clean or not at all. Now let's do this! <clears throat> let's do this thing! Oh yeah! Vince looked kind of weak out there. He sure did. What's gotten into him? Uh, I needed people to see that. To see that I ain't nothing without that juice. I never had what it takes to be the champ. You deserve that prize, man. Thanks. You taught me what it means to be a fighter again. I won't forget this time. We love you, Vince! Thanks for putting it on the line for us every time! You're a true champ, man! It gives me great pleasure to announce that the winner of the Rainbow is... This is bad. This is real bad. Huh? It's the Rainbow. It's gone. And all there was instead was this. And this letter, too. Looks like it's for you. Come and meet me in Dundrasil. I've something to show you. Don't worry about the rainbow. It's safe with me.
What a shocking twist to end our tale, ladies and gentlemen. The grand prize snatched from under our champion's nose by none other than Old Man Rab! Will our hero journey to Dundrazil to claim what's rightfully his? How will it all end? I, for one, can't wait to find out! Dundrazil, huh? So it's back to where it all began. Hmm. <sighs>
So this is Dundrasil. I'd heard the rumors about what happened here, but still, I never expected this. To think that not so very long ago, this was one of the world's great cities, and that it was reduced to rubble in a single night. The king and queen murdered by monsters. The princess of Heliodor, too. The poor thing was only visiting. Oh, but I don't need to tell you this. They were your parents, after all. So where's the old guy from the tournament, anyway? And why'd he drag us all the way out here? Look! Those torches are lit! He must be in there somewhere, waiting for us! Let's go!
<laughs> so you made it at last. Is it just you? Where's your friend, the girl? Hmm. She has duties to attend to. She'll be glad you came, though, as am I. It's not like we had much choice. Now where's the rainbow? We need it. Oh, you do, do you? I suppose that's because your pal here's the luminary. <gasps> Wait. How could you... I thought you died years back, laddie. When I saw that mark in your hand at the tournament, my heart skipped more than a few beats, let me tell you. Now, come along. There's something I want to show you, if you'll indulge an old man for a wee while. This place brings back some memories, sure enough. Look, are you going to tell us who you are or what? I'd already given up most of my duties by then. I spent most of my days in the city enjoying my retirement. Oh, we had us some fun. <laughs> and then the monsters came, and I lost everything. When I was your age, laddie, this was one of the finest cities you could ever hope to see. And look at it now. One night. That's all it took them to tear it all apart. Ugh. Just listen to me blethering on. I, I was going to show you something, wasn't I? Come on. Is this... somebody's grave? Aye. This is where the King and Queen of Dundrasil are buried. <gasps> you mean... Hmm. I do. This is your parents' grave, laddie. The grave of my daughter and son-in-law. Wait, but that would mean you're his grandfather. These two fine young souls died, and I survived. I came to believe there must have been a reason for that. That someone had a purpose in mind for me. So I set out to learn why Dundrasil was destroyed. I've been on the road ever since. I've uncovered some of the truth on my travels. It was King Carnelian, you see. He... changed. He once believed in the power of the Luminary more than any of us. But he became convinced that you were evil. That you were the Darkspawn. Oh. He's not a man I knew any longer. Folks say he blames you for everything, even the death of his daughter. How could you, old friend? something behind it all. The fall of Dundrasil, the change in my old comrade. I promise you, I will find out the truth.
I found your boy. He was not lost to us after all. You're alive, laddie, against all the odds, and, and now you're home. You've no idea how many times I've dreamed of this day. I never thought it would actually come. Now, will you humour an old man a while longer? There's an old royal ritual, you see. To send the souls of the departed to a better place. I'd like you to help me perform it. There's an altar up in the hill behind the castle. I'll be waiting for you there. Everything's ready. Thank you, Princess. It looks just perfect. Wait, you don't mean... If the rest of you wouldn't mind standing back here with me, only members of the Dracillian royal family may perform the ritual. How come he called you princess? Are you? Quiet now. The ritual is about to begin. You just follow my lead. All right, laddie. The 
The souls of those who depart this life must all return to Yggdrasil. One life for each leaf of the great world tree. But those taken by monsters cannot return of their own accord. So our ancestors devised a ritual to send them on their way. The smoke guides them back to where they belong, to Yggdrasil's bosom. Each butterfly is a lost soul, and now they can all be at peace. die in vain, Eleanor. He saved your boy and the princess. It was a noble sacrifice you made. Thank you, my beautiful girl. And goodbye. I hope you don't mind me asking, but your mother didn't leave you anything, did she? Did she? So this letter's why you went to see King Carnelian, eh? Oh. If only she'd known. I'm sorry, laddie, you've been through so much. But I suppose if you'd not set out for Heliodor, the journey would never have led you to me, eh? Oh, Eleanor. I'm sorry, Laria. I'm going to need to be alone for a wee while. Lady Eleanor. <gasps> Who's there? You weren't supposed to see that. I was just thinking about Lady Eleanor. I... I mean, your mother. Why don't we take a little walk? My mother was a rather sickly soul, by all accounts. She died not long after I was born. So in a sense, Lady Eleanor was the only real mother I ever knew. She used to read me stories, take me flower picking. I loved her so much. 
You can imagine how happy I was when I heard she was having a baby. I couldn't wait to meet my little brother. You know, it was raining like this the last time I ever saw her. I can't believe how much time has passed since then. Hmm? Wait, up there. Something tells me they're looking for you and your friends. And there's only one kingdom that can send that many soldiers out on a manhunt. Heliodor. Come on. We need to get back to the others. Hmm. ones from the altar. No sign of them. What about the Darkspawn? No sign of him either. Blast! They must have gone away. It, it's him! <gasps> He's over here! The Darkspawn is over here! Oh, for goodness sake. What shall we do with the girl? Sir Hendrik's orders were to bring the Darkspawn back alive. He never said anything about anyone foolish enough to side with him. Just you try it. I can't be expected to take her on alone. Sir Hendrik! Sir Hendrik! Come on. We'll head around the mountain and meet up with the others before he gets back. Darkspawn! There is nowhere left to run. <sighs> you are a slippery one, I will give you that. I had not thought you would make it this far after I picked up your scent in Octagonia. Darkspawn is mine. Deal with the girl. Forward! <laughs> this is all the dreaded child of darkness can muster. Pathetic! No longer dark spawn. The chase ends here. Princess Jade? Surely not.
I won't let you go again. Oh good, you're awake. <laughs> I'm soaked through. Let's get warmed up, shall we? I... I'm glad I caught you. I couldn't have forgiven myself if... If it happened again. I suppose Rab must have told you about your mother. That she sacrificed herself to save you and the Princess of Heliodor. Well, you've probably worked it out for yourself already, but... I was that princess. Your mother saved my life. That night, the night Dundrasil fell, we ran from the castle, but the monsters were too fast. She handed you to me and distracted them for long enough for us to get away. She died to save us. But even though she trusted me with you, I... I was too weak and stupid to... I fell in the river and... I let you go. I can't tell you how many times I've wished that it was you, Rab, fished out of there and not me. After he found me, we headed back to Heliodor. We thought my father might help us to find you. But when we got there, we found out he was telling people I'd been killed by the Luminary. He was trying to make people believe awful things about you. Rab was convinced that he wasn't in his right mind, that someone must be controlling him. So we set out together to find out who and why. I never expected to see Hendrik again, let alone on the battlefield. We were lucky to get out of there alive. Looks like the rain's dying down. We should head back to Dundrasil. So I was right. I had suspected it would take more than a mere fall to put pay to the Darkspawn. Sir Hendrik? Can it really have been so many years since that fateful night, Princess? To see you alive and well, you cannot imagine how much this pleases me. But... Should you choose to continue to side with the Child of Darkness, you may not live for much longer! Look, I know how you feel about duty, Hendrik. How 
how could I forget? You don't understand how important this is. Please, you have to let us go. You would ask a sworn knight of Heliodor to disobey the orders of his king? You have been away from home too long, girl. Not long enough for the years to have changed you. Still loyal to a fault. I wish it didn't have to come to this. But it has. Impressive, princess. The spirited young girl of old has grown into quite the warrior maiden. Oh, please. I'm not a child anymore. It'll take more than a pat on the head to distract me. And what will it take to convince you that I am deadly serious? That if you stand on the side of the Darkspawn, I will have no choice but to destroy you! Yeah! Princess! I'm sorry. Get on! Now hold on tight. Princess, what have you become? There you both are. And in one piece, too. Just about. No thanks to Hendrik and his men. So it was old Hendrik, was it? Uh, I thought it might be. I would have liked a wee word with the rascal, but... I doubt he'd have told us much. Well, if even he's out for your blood, the forces of evil must have a stronger hold in Heliodor than ever. It wouldn't be the first time a once glorious kingdom had been brought low by monstrous powers, you know. Many, many years ago, a dastardly fiend destroyed an entire empire with his wicked ways. A legendary evil named... Mordegan. His story is all but forgotten these days. I had to tramp halfway around the world just to learn his name. But the more I find out about him, the more I'm convinced he's the one behind all this. Dundrasil, the troubles in Heliodor, everything. Which is why you're gonna have to stop him, laddie. The fate of the whole world depends on it. You're the Luminary, after all. You were born to defeat the Dark One. But you'd be more than foolish to face him unprepared. He's a master of darkness, the like of which the world has never seen. Then we must make our way to Yggdrasil as soon as we can. The legends of Arborea tell of a means of fighting the darkness that can only be found there. Veronica! That must be why we're supposed to take him there, mustn't it? Here you are, laddie. It's yours at last. You'll be needing it if you're to make your way to the World Tree. If anyone can get this old stick to show us the way, it's you. Lead on, Luminary. Well? Can you see anything? Don't tell me it's a duck! 
blood? If that Noah sent us in a wild goose chase, I'll throttle him! He could have told us it didn't work before we wasted a zillion hours chasing it halfway across the world. No, no, let's not jump to conclusions. Why don't Jade and I join you, and we'll see if we can't make our way a bit closer to Yggdrasil and try again. We'll not give you any bother. I promise. It's... Darlings, did you see it? It was so pretty. A sort of platform floating in the sky and six colored orbs. <gasps> oh! I think I understand. We need to find the orbs and take them to the platform and then the path to Yggdrasil will appear. Maybe trekking halfway round the world to find that branch wasn't such a waste of time after all. And we've already got one of the orbs we need, too. I knew swiping this thing from the castle was the best idea I ever had. I had my own plans for it. But this is way more important. It's yours now. Just don't lose it, okay? Our prize from the tournament. Lucky we didn't sell it in the end, eh? Aye. And there I was all set to swap it for a few piffling trinkets for the road. It's yours now, though, laddie. Now, it looked like that platform we saw was located right under Yggdrasil. That means it must be somewhere deep inside the first forest. So, we know where we have to go. We just need to find the other four orbs first. But where in the world would we even begin to look? Orbs, orbs. Oh, I... I do remember a fairy tale about a giant pearl sinking to the bottom of the ocean. Can't remember the details, though. Well, if we don't have any real clues, I guess we'll just have to head out into the world and find some. Uh, you're not wrong there. In which case, let's head for Puerto Valor. We can get out into the open ocean from there. It's off to the northwest of Gondolia. A fairly straightforward voyage, if you ask me. And you'll be pleased to hear that I'm friends with Don Rodrigo, the big man over that way. I'm sure he'll open the sea gates for us. <laughs> hmm? Right then, let's get moving, shall we? The sooner we get our hands on those orbs, the sooner we can make our way up to Yggdrasil. <laughs> 